you guys are, from what I'm hearing from you guys, just saying you're going to count the hockey sticks, and at the bottom it tells, I heard you say skip count, and the bottom it tells you you need to skip count, and it tells you how many you need to skip count five. There's another way that it can help you. Let's find out. The pictures help because you can look to see which row is the longest and which row is the shortest. So you can just pictures also help because you can find how much longer one row is than another row. Okay, so at first, you guys were telling me you could just count them, which is correct. You guys could just count them and then subtract. But also, did you notice that this row is longer than this row? Mm -hmm. So we can just by looking at it quickly, see, this team definitely has more than this one. Very good. Why do you think the key is there? The key tells you how to read the graph. Why do you think the key is important? Hmm, good question. I want you to think about this in thinking time. Why is that key important? Okay, turn to each other and Oh, I love the conversations we're hearing. I'm sorry, I'm going to put you off early. But who thinks they know why? Why is that key so important? Why put it there? Clarissa? You can get mixed up with the number of people on each team. Oh, you, what do you mean that you can get it mixed up? You mean like, I mean like, if you see two hockey sticks, you make it, it means like, um, two people on that team. Oh, okay. Might, might mean like two people just on that team. Okay, good. But now we know that two hockey sticks means two, not two people, but two. Teams. Okay, good. Anybody else? Jason? Oh, okay, maybe maybe two could be four. So it really helps us know how much to count every time you see that picture, how much to count. Did you want to share your answer? No. The key is important because it tells you what the pictures or symbols stand for. Right, just like you said. How many teams are in the East Falls League? Use the key to find the answer. Oh, okay. What does the key say that the different pictures stand for? Okay, so what was that question before? It goes, it's not pausing for us. How many teams are on the East Falls League? So here's the East Falls League. It says right here. Um, we're going to use these pictures to help us figure out. So think about it for a second to yourself. How many teams are in the East Fall League? Hmm. And then maybe tell me how do you know? Kate. Seven teams because um, two of the hockey sticks equals two teams. Mm -hmm. So I just counted two, four, six, and then added one more. Added one more because on this, this hockey stick represents how much? One team, and what told you that? The, the, uh, the key, the key at the bottom. Very good. All right, so let's see here. Find the answer. What does the key say that the different pictures stand for? Two hockey sticks represent two teams. One hockey stick represents one team. What are the pictures in the row for East Fall League? Okay, what we talked about with the pictures, or what are the pictures? Everyone? Hockey sticks. There are three groups of two hockey sticks and one single hockey stick. So, how many teams are in the East Falls League? Okay. Eight. Seven. Do we agree? There's seven? Yes. There are seven teams in the East Falls League. How many more teams does the East Falls League have than the South Falls League? Compare the two rows. Okay, now we're going to compare. We know the East Fall League has seven sets. South Fall League. How many, hmm, how many teams are on that team? Seth? 
There's four. Okay. So we can just one the Okay. I love your conversations. And you know what? I love how you said the answer, but then you said because, and then you gave your explanation. So who would like to answer that question for us? Aaliyah? This is what you're saying. Cut this up. You're, you're seeing that this is this is longer, and this is two plus one is three three longer. Very good. So she was just looking at the length. I heard somebody else do it a little bit differently. Besides looking at the lengths, is it still, Can you talk about the way you figured it out? Um, okay. So I figured it out by um, subtracting three plus two on the six equals two teams of the other one. So then I subtracted it to count balls and since there's four teams and there's two pop sticks on the front. There's two pop sticks, so four plus three equals seven. Okay, good. So this is seven, and this was, um, excuse me, seven, and then this is four. We know seven. We could do an operation. Seven minus four equals three. three. So you could do an operation like addition, subtraction, or like Aaliyah did, you could just do um, comparing the lengths of them. That's what we're going to go with bar graph. Okay. Oh, Easily to see. The East Falls League has three more teams than the South Falls League. What is another way to find how many more teams the East Falls League has than the South Falls League? We just did that, right? Let's look at the definition for bar graph. <laughs> bar graph. A graph using bars to show data. You were right. Okay. Okay. Now, also on a bar graph, what do you notice about here? Are these on the side here, Russell. What do you notice about the side? They have numbers on that. We kind of, I kind of talked talked about it when we were doing line plots. There was a starting number and end number. What do we call that? Anybody know what that was called? Mm. Well, think about the bar graph. We've had to figure out what number it started at and what number it ended at. Anybody know what that word was called? Jason? A scale. So these numbers right here are the scale, just like on that bar graph. Let's see here. Scale. The numbers that show the units used on a graph. The units used. In this case, we what do we notice with the numbers? Zero. Okay, what do we notice about them, Leah? They're counting by twos. But what do you see in between each line here? Clarissa, what do you see between each line, each skip counting? There's another line there. So even though the number is not marked on the scale here, we know that in between 0 and 2 is 1. In between 2 and 4, step is 3. Between 4 and 6 is 5. Okay. So if I, for example, had a bar that landed, let's see, landed on 1, and I go across, there's no number there. I can still figure out what number would be there. Correct? Okay. All right, let's see what else. Now let's look, let's analyze this data. It says, how many goals did Cindy score? Look at the bar graph. You can look up here or on your, in your book. Find Cindy. Follow the bar graph up and see what line does it end at. Seth, look at the bar graph. What? It ends at 7. How did you figure that out? <coughs> Between 6 and 8 is 7. Very good. And that's the line that it ends up. Very good. It does seem pretty easy. Let's look at our let's look at our target. Are we getting our target today? Look at our target. I will read and interpret data. I will read and interpret data from a pictograph and a bar graph. So did you just read data on this bar graph? Yeah. Good. So you're 
you're meeting our target today. Very good. Now, the next question, Jason, who scored the fewest goals? Look at the bar graph. Hmm, what do you think is the fewest? <coughs> Kayla? Oh, a fewest. You're getting Alex. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. You met Jack? Why did you change your answer to Jack? He has the with the shortest bar, okay, and that would equal to four. So you can see just by looking at it quickly, who had the fewest because it's the shortest bar it goes way higher. And he, how many did he score? No nine. Nine, yes, because you think eight and ten is nine. Very good. Jason, can you read question one for me? Explain how to find how many more goals Alex scored. Okay, think about it for a second. You're gonna have to be able to explain. How to find how many more goals, more than keywords. Explain how to find more, how many more goals Alex scored than Cindy. So it just, does it give you all the information you need? Really, it just says Alex and Cindy. Does it give you any information, any numbers? Sometimes it doesn't give you any information. How can we find that information? So stopping and thinking, how can we find the information we need? Because we need to know Cindy and Alex. Kate? We can look on the bar graph, find out how much Cindy scored, find out how much Alex scored, and then what we would need to do. Once we have this information, what do we need to do? We're going to use an operation. You put subtract or add. Subtract or add, okay. So let's do that. Cindy scored how much? Write it down. Let's go. Write it down. Alex scored. How much? Write it down. And then find the difference. How many more Alex scored than Cindy? Let me figure it out first. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> so, Russell, can you, Russell, can you um, tell us what you got, and then you guys can check your answers, see if you got it correctly. It says, explain how to find how how to find how many more goals Alex scored than Cindy. Oh, um, how I got it? Um, so I looked at the bar graph. I found it. How many Alex got? And then how many Cindy got? And then um, I put those two numbers in like a subtract. Mhm. And then and then got the answer. Good. And what was the answer? Two. Two. So um, Alex scored two more than. Did you guys get that? Thumbs up, yes? Thumbs down? No? Okay, very good. All right, let's erase it. Show me you're ready for the next one. Thank you. Thank you, Leah. Oh, I like how you guys are already reading the next one. So, who can read the next one for me? Kate. How many fewer goals did Jack score than Reggie? Fewer goals did Jack score than Reggie. Fewer, that's a big word. That's a key clue word. What do you think it means? Addition or subtraction? Jason? Subtraction. We're probably going to subtract because it's smaller. How many fewer goals did Jack score than Reggie? We don't know how much Jack, how much Jack scored. We don't know how much Reggie scored. How can we figure that out, Ezekiel? Looking back at your bar graph. Okay. Now, I want you guys to just figure this out on your whiteboard. Let's go. How many fewer goals did Jack score than Reggie? You're going to look at your whiteboard. How much did Jack score? How much did Reggie score? Let me see if you guys are right. Let's see. Let me maybe go back and reread the question. Jack and Reggie. Here's Jack. He scored. Double check your work. Score. Reggie scored. Eight. 
Okay, number two. Oh, I'm glad you got my cup. Yes, yes. I want you to check again. Jack and Reggie. So here's Reggie. Oh, I'm glad you caught it. Thank you. Don't erase it because I want you to check your work in a second. Okay. Who would like to share their answer? Teresa? Reggie scored eight and Jack scored four. We do eight. So I need to four. Yes. So first you identify how much each person scored and then you subtract to find the difference. So Jack scored four fewer than Reggie. All right. Okay. Show me you're ready. And you're going to have to explain it. And I would like you, it says communicate, so I'd like you to talk to each other. Let's read the question first. Actually, who would like to read it for me? Logan, can you read number three for us? Explain. You're going to have to not just tell me which one has the fewest, but you're going to explain how to find it. So give me some thinking time. Okay, try to talk with Philip. Are in the North Falls, and here's that secret word again. How many teams are in the North Falls and West Falls League? What's that secret word and? And means you have a team here, you have a team here. And you're going to find out how many in all. Let's see if you guys can get it. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Yes.
You know what? We are actually going to pause right here. We're going to clean up because it's recess time. Can you clean it quickly and quietly, please? Thank you. I can Put this in your books. You can do this later. Put this in your books. We'll continue this. Keep cleaning up, kids. Keep cleaning up, kids. Yeah. So anyway, I just need to let her know quickly what's happening on yeah, Monday, and then no we problem. can talk. Okay. Um,